Variety is the spice of life, and I love going to fisheries that are multi-species fisheries. And Trail End Camp, located on the Winnipeg River, is just a tremendous drive to fishery. You've got blacktop the entire way, easy to get to, and once you get on this river system, there's all kinds of different options. There's walleye fishing, smallmouths, pike, crappies. Try a little bit of everything. You can use every lure in your tackle box and catch fish, and that's what I love about this part of the world. We're in a beautiful place here today. We're up on the Winnipeg River and you know we first discovered this area a couple years ago. We came up here and did an ice fishing episode. We were fishing for crappies here on the white shell chain which isn't too far away from this area and I was just intrigued by it. just a different landscape. It's just a beautiful area and there's just so much water and just so many different opportunities and what really intrigued me about this area is just the multi-species fishing opportunities. On so many different lakes and reservoirs that we fish, you know, come midsummer, once the water warms up, you just cannot go wrong pulling a bottom bouncer and spinner below the boat. I mean, it just catches walleyes everywhere, and it's just a simple presentation. It's something that anybody can do. You just let that bottom bouncer down until it hits the bottom. You let out a little bit more line until that line's at roughly a 45 degree angle. As long as you can feel that bottom bouncer ticking the bottom once in a while, you're doing it right. Enables you to catch scattered fish and also enables you to find fish once these fish spread out come midsummer. Get that in the water here. Yeah, just a gorgeous fish, just classic structure fishing. Boy, that fish just smacked it. That's what I love about this. Whoa. You just hold on, there ain't a doubt in your mind when these fish hit. You know what? It's a walleye. Whoa! Hey, walleye. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Yeah. Thank you, sir. There you go. That's yeah, just fun fishing, the way those bites are. You wanna grab them? Yeah, I'll just pull them out of the net here. Oh. That's a pretty one. Yeah. Gorgeous. You know, we're pulling these spinners about a mile an hour. You just see it's not a very big spinner at all, but about a five foot, four and a half foot snail. It's a little flicker blade, just using a half crawler. But man, when these fish hit, I mean, you're just holding onto the rod and they just, they just rattle it. You're just shredding them on. I like to go up past the knot, the snail knot. And I'll just twirl through the water Kind of like what the people are doing with slow death, but walleyes can't resist it. From uh, the dock at Trail End all the way to the Ontario border is about 40 miles and it's really diverse. You get big open areas where it's more like a lake. You get pinch points in the river where it narrows down. And the nice part about that is you get uh, differences in times of the year. The creek mouths in the spring produce fish. Middle of summer, once it gets hot, the current areas start producing. Right now, we're still fishing humps, pulling bottom bouncers, but instead of having just one narrow, long river or one big, huge lake, you get a little bit of both, and it uh, spreads the fishing out in the seasons. Oh, I just missed one right there. And keeps it very consistent throughout the year. We can catch fish mostly throughout from, from May right till October. And there's one. It's a walleye, it's a big walleye. What you got there? Look at that, big walleye. Oh yeah, nice walleye. There we go. He's got a lamprey eel on his back fin. Oh cool, look at that. There, nice, beautiful fish. There you go. Nice. Marked a few other fish in there too. Let's spin around on them here. She goes. So that was a lot of spunk in her. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. Come midsummer into late summer, 
You know, the fish can get scattered, and a lot of times people think that fishing gets tougher as the summer progresses, but each year during the dog days of summer when it gets hot out, we can find some of our best fishing. And if I had to use one presentation for the rest of my life, mid-summer, a lot of times it'd be a bottom bouncer and a spinner, just because it's so simple and it's so effective, they just flat out catch fish. Now, just a couple of general rules of thumb. Typically, use one ounce of weight for every 10 feet of water. So if you're in 10 feet of water, you can use an ounce. If you're in 20 feet of water, use two ounce bottom bouncer, but just go up depending on the depth of water that you're in. And typically you're just running them at a 45 degree angle behind the boat. Now, if you're just out there to catch fish, this is just simple and easy to do because you just let line out until you hit bottom and you go. And typically we're trolling anywhere from say a mile to a mile and a half an hour for using a spinner. These fish will just hammer that bait. I mean, there's gonna be no doubt in your mind when you get a fish on. And basically for a lot of inland water, especially I don't care if you're in Iowa, Nebraska, Minnesota, Wisconsin, North Dakota, South Dakota, wherever you're at in the upper Midwest, if you just run just a small spinner, just like this, just a small blade with just a single hook, and Shields has all kinds of different spinners and blade colors and bead options, but if you're just looking for a lot of action, this is just a simple formula that's going to catch you a lot of fish. You know, there's a big long bar that comes out here, and there's a couple of spots where it comes up high, like 12, 13, 14, 15 feet where there's a lot of rock on it. We're not catching fish on the rock. We're catching fish on kind of the size of it where there's just flat. Feels like a little bit softer bottom. Anywhere from say 20 to 16 feet of water. We're just going back and forth up and down this bar. And these fish are kind of scattered on it. There's a couple of ends where there seems to be more fish, but what's neat about this, we're catching walleyes, which is what we're fishing for, but you know, we're getting a few incidental pike. We're getting some perch. There's just a lot of activity out here. And so that's always a good omen when there's just signs of life. The first eight miles of our system here is quite spread out and large. There's a lot of islands, coves, stuff like that. The advantage to that is we don't get the big, big winds that some of the, like Lake Winnipeg gets where, or Devil's Lake, for example, where you guys can't get out if it gets really rough unless you've got big boats. Here we can always get out no matter what the weather. So past that eight mile point, which is the first set of rapids, the river gets narrow for probably about uh, 10, 12 miles. Then it opens up again when you get past that narrow spot and it gets more like a lake again with a lot of islands and reefs and coves. It's pretty diverse. Boy, oh, I just love how these fish just don't give up. Whoa, I'm gonna net them. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna try to lip them in. She quits. Fun fish. We're approximately three hours from the U.S. Canadian border. Uh, we're very close to the Ontario border. We're on the top north end of the Whiteshell Provincial Park. The river that our camp sits on right here borders the two parks, Nopaming Provincial Park to the north and the Whiteshell to the south. Big pike. I'll get reeled up here and help you fish. Tired yet? There we go. There we go. All right, nice work. Oh, look at there. She came off in the net. Yeah, perfect. Here, you want me to grab her for you? I can hand it to you here. This is a nice fish. Wow. Nice fish. Like there. Beautiful. I'm just going to put it right back in the water here. She goes. That looks fun. This is just classic Canadian fishing. You know, if something looks fishy, you know, you're gonna catch fish where you expect to catch them in the sense that you go up along some of these banks, for example, and cast lures into the cabbage, you're gonna catch big pike. If you go up along the shallow rocks, you're gonna find smallmouth bass. If you go out on the reefs and the deeper structures, are gonna be covered with walleyes. You know, if something looks fishy, fish it. Tell you what, you get in this country, there's no shortage of places to fish. Oh, that's a nice walleye. Oh, walleye. Look at that. <laughs> <Pike Yeah. trailer. laughs> Net job here for you. Nice. Hammer it pretty good. Yeah, just hammered it. Cool. That was a pike right away. That's always fun. You see how like, fish are healthy, though. I eh? like these walleye here. They're all solid fish here. They don't get skinny ones. Thank you.
This is how you end the day here up in the North Country here. It's just a great way to live. And that's why so many people like to come out and do this type of stuff. You just get away from everything. Don't see hardly any boats out on the water and uh, eat fish. Yeah, you bet. Until you're sick of it. <laughs>